Hello, my friends. I want to talk a little bit about life in this world um, and just some reflections that I have had from what I've walked with the Lord over these past three years and how he reveals in your mind through the spirit what he's teaching you. And you don't always know what he's teaching or where he's going because it's a process. If you really, truly walk with the Lord, it's a process and what you think you know, you end up knowing something entirely different after a while because everything is a process to break you down to where you can have mercy on the world as he had, opposed to being proud and arrogant and selfish and relying on your own word instead of relying on his word. So it's all a process. And I'm going to expand a little bit on the Revelation 12 topic that we should be if we believe that sign. We should be dogmatic that come March 2021, our redemption has drawn nigh. It's truly at the door knocking. If we believe that that was the sign, 1260 days pass, though we will not know the date or time exactly, but 1260 days according to when God made the conception, we will meet our Lord in the air. And just some interesting pieces of scripture that I can show you that all aligns with Revelation 12 being the sign. So we go to John 10, for instance, and John is talking to believers and unbelievers in a sense. He's talking to many people. Um, and he went to the place where John had baptized many as he crossed the Jordan. I'm talking about John the Baptist. And we see in Luke 10.40, when Jesus went back across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing in the early days, there he stayed. And many people came to him. They said, though John never performed a sign, all that John said about this man was true. And in that place, many believed in Jesus. And you can take this reference right now to our current day, where John the Apostle has not performed the sign. God has performed the sign, not John the Apostle. But John the Apostle recorded the sign. And though he didn't perform it, we believe that sign that he saw. We believe that it was Jesus who showed him that sign. So that in the times of the end, you go from Daniel to the book of Revelations with the seal being scrolled up and only opened at the times of the end. So that we know when we come to the what is, it's on this generation that can understand it. We're the only one that can understand the book of Revelations. Because what is on September 23rd, 2017, or roughly around that, was Revelation chapter 12. Everything before it is what was. Everything after it is what is to come. We were at an exact spot in time of the what is on that sign. So John didn't perform it, God did, but he relayed the message, and many of us that are part of the body of Christ believe that was a genuine sign. Just exactly like what happened in the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 40 through 42. Different John, but same exact concept which scripture repeats. If you really go through scripture, you'll see the repetition of scripture because there's nothing new under the sun. If we look at the Lord's Prayer, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You can look at that exact verse. Go to Revelation and look at Revelation 12, Verse 10, Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of the Messiah. So we're talking about those in heaven, as it is on earth. God's will be done. His kingdom is coming down. And his faithful are going with him. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. His kingdom comes down. His will is being done exactly on earth as it is in heaven. That's how we know that Revelation chapter 12, verse 10 is speaking of 
redemption and salvation right there. That is the kingdom of the Messiah coming down from heaven. That is those who are faithful, who waited for the Lord, who will meet him in the air. The accuser of the brothers and sisters who does it every night. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. The mortal sin that man has a very difficult time getting over is the sin of self and pride. Putting self ahead of everything else. Putting our own word ahead of the word of God. It's by faith, by learning, and by believing that man overcomes that by the will of the Father, because the shepherd never loses a sheep. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Here is the evil that comes down. The one who is forced down from the heavens. Woe to the earth and to the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. If we have walked with the Lord, if we have faith in the Lord, if we believe in the Lord, our reward is the forgiveness of the Lord because we have forgiven everybody else. Our hearts are like His. Our forgiveness is like His forgiveness because the Father gives us that power. Isaiah chapter 40, we are given power. So we forgive those who trespass as the hypocrites do not. They say they forgive, but they do not forgive. And they need the purification because they cannot overcome the sin of self, the sin of pride, the sin of gluttony, the sin of being right. For thine is thy kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer speaks of the redemption of the rapture, if you connect the two dots. If we go, we understand that we're going back to Revelation chapter 3, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3 now, and we know that the church of Philadelphia, if you keep his command and endure patiently and believe in the sign and believe in the dates, March of 2021, if you keep that and endure patiently and wait for him, he's going to keep you from that hour of trial that's going to come on the rest of the inhabitants of the earth when the devil comes down. You won't be experiencing that hour that no man knows the day or the hour because you will be with the Messiah and meet him in the air. All of it matches up. New Jerusalem, which comes down, now is the kingdom and the power of thy glory coming down from the heavens, exactly like Revelation 12 says. 1260 days after the sign is given from John, which came from the Lord. And just a little thing about humanity. I, myself, as I have walked with the Lord, have been so stressed. I have come at points and times of breakdowns with anxiety. Because I see all the signs the world is giving, and I fall into its trap of looking at the world and all of these things that go on, it, and I am so concerned and worried for this world that I took my own word over the word of God. And the reason why God tells us, the people of God, and this is in Philippians, which transcend all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The reason that we, when we know the time is coming. We know for certain how many days even. Don't know the hour, but we know how many days that time is coming. We know that anything we see between now and then, that our hearts can be guarded because we know that we're going to be delivered through it on that day, days, on that time. Human beings need to know when something's coming. They live in stress and anxiety if they don't know what day something is. Imagine you say you're going to get married, but there's no date. There's no wedding date. You don't know when it's going to be. That's the same thing that's happening to us. But the Lord has given us a date that we can know roughly what date that is. So we're not living in constant anxiety because we don't know when to look specifically for something. We're going to see all these signs that he showed us the rest of, and all these wonderful people out there seeing all of these things and making videos of them, dreaming dreams, and all of these other things. We're going to do all of that. But unless we know a specific time to wait for, really to wait for and focus on, and know that our redemption is there, 
we will have people falling over of heart attacks on the street because of their anxieties. This is how we guard our hearts and keep our minds focused on the Lord. Because, my friends, we do have a time that we can look forward to. God bless.